Okay, we're here with Professor Jerry Sanders, who is the chair of the Peace and Conflict Studies Department at Berkeley. Professor, um, you're about two and a half weeks into the Summer Peace Institute down here at UPeace. Uh, and this is your first year down here, your first partnership with UPeace. Can you explain a little bit about uh, kind of what made you come down here, what your vision was exactly in setting up this partnership? Mm -hmm. Well, my, my vision, uh, it's uh, not entirely unique. It's a product of the time in which we live. Uh, I think, uh, like many people anywhere in the world, we talk so much about how everything crosses borders, uh, good things and bad things, ever faster and accelerated pace. So we're inescapably in different universities all over the world as faculty and students talking about the world, but we're not always talking with the world about the world. So when I came here as chair of Peace and Conflict Studies, I decided that uh, one of the top uh, priorities that I had uh, was to create networks and partnerships with faculty and students around the world, uh, spaces in which dialogue could take place about these common problems, uh, sharing our different perspectives on these issues, what Kofi Annan called Problems Without Passports, which is the theme for this course on human security and peace building. First, uh, Summer Peace Institute on Human Security and Peace Building, which is a partnership between the University of California, Berkeley, and uh, UPs. Okay, great. So, UPs is a pretty natural uh, partner for you then, just based on kind of what, what their mission statement and everything is here, is that? Very much so. I think, uh, well, first, they uh, very definitely share the same vision. I mean, after all, they were founded on the, those very principles of global community and how to create peace. And uh, I think also they have already here the diverse student body. Very difficult to create that. And so it was the perfect setting, really, uh, to bring students from University of California, Berkeley, and some of our other universities also, uh, Tokyo, Singapore, Australian National University, uh, because Berkeley is part of a network of 10 different universities around the world. So some of these students are here with us also in addition to the uh, students from UPeace. So UPeace is also an ideal setting, as you can see, a great place for reflection uh, here in a very rustic uh, setting, a uh, very pastoral, a uh, great place for people to uh, engage in uh, unhurried dialogue uh, and uh, to learn from each other. And I think also the, uh, the other aspect of the program is peace building practice. And the fact that uh, Costa Rica has so many uh, rich programs of non-governmental organizations, community groups. Uh, our students will be going out and uh, starting next week and working in various aspects of peace building, environment, uh, gender, human rights, women, children, uh, getting uh, to, to really learn uh, at the community-based level what peace building looks like on the ground in relation to these common global problems. Okay, so yeah, so you have, what, a three-week three week kind of academic portion where you'll be in the classroom and then the two-week real, real field study, yes. and and how do you think that exactly will, how, how will that really combine what the students learn in the classroom? Is that really just kind of synthesizing everything that, that they've been talking about the last three weeks? Is that it? Well, we've been talking about what are the root causes of human security issues. Mm -hmm. uh, issues from uh, physical safety, from violence and war, uh, issues of uh, economic livelihood and sustainable development, issues of human uh, of human dignity, including human rights, uh, democracy, freedom, uh, all these different dimensions of this new paradigm called human security. So uh, it'll give the people an opportunity uh, to go out and work with groups uh, that are, once they've learned the root causes, that's where we concentrate on the root causes, uh, analysis. And now we'll go out and look at, to see how this touches down in particular communities in Costa Rica in these different areas. And, and how they engage these issues, uh, how they're working uh, with with the uh, United Nations, United Nations organizations, Costa Rican government, other community groups uh, to address these problems, mitigate the impact of the problem, transform conflicts, uh, and it really gives students a, a real grounding in practice. Okay, perfect. All right, well, we'll definitely catch up with you after those two weeks and, and see, uh, see how the program advances from there. So thanks a lot, Professor. Thanks a lot, Jason.